and Gatsby, we took on The Hobbit, and tonight, as you know, uh, we are taking on The Wizard of Oz, and we are so, so, so excited. Um, we have some amazing writers here um, to help us out, and we will meet them in a minute. But first, we have a little bit of business to get through. Um, so here is how tonight is going to work. Um, all the pieces are going to be read anonymously and randomly, so you won't know who's written what, unless you can tell based on their squirming and blushing, like, whose it is. Um, we'll read three, then we'll take a break, then we'll read the other three, um, and then at the end you're going to be asked to vote. So everyone should have a voting card. If you don't have one, um, there's voting cards, there's extra ones on the bar, if you spill your wine on it or whatever. Um, <laughs> there are also pens, but there aren't enough, so, you know, share. Um, the way it's going to work is you're going to rank your top three choices. So number one is going to be your favorite, number two is going to be your second favorite, three is your third favorite. You're just going to rank your top three. Does this make sense? And then we're going to tally based on those, right? Okay, great. Um, so before we meet the writers, I um, want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. No, I didn't. Great. So um, I have a very important person to introduce to you guys. Um, he is one of the founders and cornermen of Red Club SF. He is the author of Pictures of a Floating World, She Said, and I Pretended to Understand, which we have uh, up front at the counter tonight and in our fiction section always. Um, he is one third of the brains behind this glorious operation that you're about to witness called Shipwreck. He is one half of my favorite San Francisco Roti P. Roti P. Please give an enormous welcome to the great and powerful Casey Childers. How's everybody doing? That's, I was told uh, in public speaking that that's what you're supposed to say. It takes, it takes the chitters out. But it, it, nobody ever says anything but woo. Um, so I'm going to introduce the, uh, the, the talent tonight. And I got it on paper. <laughs> so uh, the list is arbitrary. I don't know the order that they were going to sit down in. Uh, we're going to start with Alani Foxhall. Unemployed, Alani is on a whirlwind tour of office temp conditions throughout the land. She writes sketch for hot mess and the leftovers, and she's no stranger to impro, as the British call it. She scoffs at that <laughs> Scoffs. Making her scoff law. Lenny Foxhall. Skipping over this gentleman. Yimmy Kim. An MFA candidate in poetry, Yumi is originally from Virginia. She posts some pretty funny stuff on the internet, which is cool. You can find some of her writing in uh, Sparkle and Blink, Gesture, Transfer, West Wind Review, and Sugared Water forthcoming, which is actually a list of journals and not instructions on being awesome. Mac Barnett. Woo! Woo! That five years. Well, we don't actually get to say this very often, so... Uh, Mac is a New York Times best-selling author of books for children, <laughs> including Extra Yarn, which won a 2013 Caldecott Honor, and the 2012 Boston Globe Horn Book Award of Excellence in Picture Books. It's the longest name for an award. Ever. It's a good award, though. It's a big award. It's huge. She also writes the Brixton Brothers. It'd have to be huge to fit all the words. The Brixton Brothers series of mystery novels. He gets extra points for being prompt and responsive with his correspondence via email. Right. <laughs> Colin Winnett. <laughs> he is the author of three books, Revelation, Animal Collection, and Fondly. He lives in San Francisco. And on a personal note, it's worth noting that Animal Collection is the best book inside this building. <laughs> Which is both hyperbolic and true. It made me want all of the books ever written to be that book and for me to have written it. <laughs> Back here, to Ignacio Zueta. He's an extremely busy playwright. He's an SF Playground regular, and you may have seen his work at the SF Fringe Fest or on the Right Club SF stage. The SF is consistent throughout. And that he's a winner as well. He won last month, in fact. And he has a play coming out this winter called The Fellowship. The Lord of the Rings inspired it's a comedy, right? It could be nothing but. Fair. Lord of the Rings. And finally, winning the Best Dressed Award, <laughs> Lauren Gallagher, she goes by Miss G, apparently, and she hustles men, French women, and howls like a banshee in bed, which is pretty cool. 
resident arts and entertainment writer at the San Francisco Examiner and Booksmith resident Anglophile. She has never seen Star Wars or Goonies. Is proud to say she never will. I wish Goonies really. Also, um, uh, uh, side note, uh, she had the B word in here, and I I cut it out on account of I can't I can't afford to pay no money to the cuss jar tonight. <laughs> Which brings me to the main attraction. <laughs> what cannot be said about Sir Stephen Westall? His merits? There is no time to list them. Professionally trained thespian, proudly non-unionized, preeminent personality of the competitive performance circuit, with over 20 years of experience, voted best public speaker at Lincoln Middle School, <laughs> an Eagle Scout, 2010 Air Sex World Champion, former man of Right Club SF, Performed Ionesco in Russia, Yates in Ireland, Shakespeare in London, Ramayana in Indonesia, at Second City in Chicago, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which you have to say if you've ever been there, you just have to say it out loud. Founding member of Collective Works Incorporated, collaborative co-creator of the Invisible College series, Cap and Slappy's Happy Nautical Hour, and the Wide Open Beaver Festival. Accomplished theremin player and mashup DJ, master of the ancient art of Tuvan. Overtone singing, he is a munchkin enthusiast. <laughs> Star of stage and screen, large and small, you may have seen him naked in one of any of the half dozen shows. Yes, he was that drug dealer friend character from that one episode of I Almost Got Away With It. Right handed, dual brained, he played the titular role in E.E. Coming Santa Claus, a morality play, the creature in Clive Barker's Frankenstein in Love, and Napoleon in George Orwell's Animal Farm. And many other monsters, animals, and imaginary people you've never even heard of. Featured in training videos for both Lowe's and Home Depot hardware stores. Multi-award winner. Actor. Multi-award winning director. Award winning writer. Award winning improviser. Award winning puppeteer. Painter. He won awards for that too. Award winning chicken wing eater. Award winning air humper. Supporter of the Oxford comma. And humble braggart. His faults, my friends, if there is one to be found, it's that he is only one man, <laughs> limited by time and space. But in his time, in our time, our time, in this space, he's all ours, and all is right with the world, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>